now children you know that lot of electrical appliances in your daily life you know in that all these electrical appliances it will be marked for example bulb if you take it will be marked on top that of that then iron box if you take like that all the electrical appliances if you take it sometimes you can see it will be marked on that 60 watt 110 watts sometimes it will be 500 watts according to the appliances which you use this may change that is why i wrote 60 110 500 watts all that and along with this what will be written another also will be written there another marking also will be there what is that 230 volts so you know what is this watt and what is what does it represent yes just think for uh, two minutes then easy you will be able to understand yes got the answer it is what is representing electric power what represent what electric power isn't it electric power of the appliances then next one and this is representing V. you know commonly all of you know it so what is this V representing here voltage of the voltage which is supplied to that appliances 230 volts voltage supplied to that appliances now we are going to study here what is meant by voltage already you know what is meant by this power what is meant by electric power what do you mean by power work done in unit time if you take any appliances how much electrical energy is used there to work that appliances that is the meaning how much electrical energy is used there to work that appliances in a certain time work done in unit time in certain appliances that will be what electric power so now what we are going to study is how we can calculate the electrical appliances that is electric power in all these electrical appliances what is the work done how much work will be done how will you calculate that is what we are going to study here okay so let us see first one so what is the definition i told you come on sit and recollect just to think of what i told you work done in unit time nine standard i think all of you we would have studied this term electric is not there only power is there already we have studied power is equal to power is equal to work divided by time so the formula which you have to write is w divided by time isn't it work w t time isn't it next step is equal to you know that work what is the work done here if you take heating appliances it is producing heat energy we have already studied so here mainly we are dealing with what heating appliances so you know that w is equal to the heat energy which is produced so next step what you can write here is the next step you can write here is power is equal to w divided by t which is equal to h divided by t the work done by this appliances when you pass electric current what happened it is getting converted into heat energy so w by t is equal to h by t is equal to already you know the formula what is the formula of h i square r into t recollect is it last time we studied all these uh, problems lot of problems we have written so i square r t divided by t so what is power is equal to i square r t by t this t t cancels so what is power is equal to i square r this is the first formula to calculate power so power is equal to i square r okay did you understand children just go once more through all these easily you will be able to understand now like this if i and r is given we can calculate power 
isn't it then if other terms are given voltage is given resistance is not given then how can you calculate for this we are going to find out other formula other formula to calculate what power which are the other formula to calculate power so one formula is this which is the next formula in this equation that is p is equal to i square r we can substitute ohm's law r is equal to you know v by i substitute this in this equation so p is equal to i square into v by i i i cancel so you will get v into i p is equal to v into i this is the second formula clear resistance is not given what you have to use here p is equal to v into i so what is the first formula p is equal to i square r according to ohm's law if you have any doubt this one according to ohm's law ohm's law according to ohm's law we know that r is equal to v by i substitute in this equation i have substituted here when i substitute you will get p is equal to v into i so if resistance is not given then you can use this formula second formula to calculate power now is there any other formula that is what we are going to study which is the other formula to calculate power yes substitute the value of i let us derive one more formula for power let us see whether you get it so i is equal to according to ohm's law ohm's law according to ohm's law i is equal to come on what is the formula just recollect what is the formula i is equal to v by r substitute in this equation this equation you can substitute p is equal to i square r or we can write instead of this i square v square by r, or v by r whole square into r v square by r square into r this r this r cancel therefore it will be v square by r p is equal to this is the third formula so which is the third formula here children p is equal to v square by r so how many form if i is not given then you can use this formula which are the three formulas here come on recollect once more write all these formulas in your notebook understood first formula is p is equal to i square r second formula is p is equal to v into i r is not given then you can use this formula i is i and r is given then you can use this formula if v is not given okay then third formula p is equal to v square by r if i is not given then you can use this formula then from this is there any other formula which you get to calculate p children one more formula p is equal to h by t h by t you can use this formula also to calculate heat also you can use this formula h is equal to p into t another formula which you can use so all these formulas are used to calculate what how many formulas are there p is equal to i square r p is equal to h by t p is equal to v into i and p is equal to v square by r all these formulas you can use to calculate power okay now finally we will come to the lot of problems we can do relating to that finally we'll come to what what is the unit of this power what is the unit of power the unit of power is watt w a t t this is the unit of power already we have discussed about watt isn't it so which is the unit of power here it is watt okay all of you understood all this okay